What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo. And, you know, nine times out of ten, we're always trying to do these higher levels against World Boss. And I thought today we would challenge ourselves in a different way. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to take on Ultron Stage 1. But we're not going to use any obelisk on our mind. main damage dealer, which is going to be Quicksilver. Now, Quicksilver is actually pretty amazing for this for quite a few reasons. Uh, one is that he does have ignore iframe on his force skill unfortunately in this skin which was very very expensive and really did feel like it underperformed right it's not as strong as it really should be in all honesty but it's still a pretty decent skin right it's actually really good uh obviously in alliance conquest and he's going to do pretty good in lower levels of world boss uh, legend as well but what makes him so good against this boss or against Ultron is one he has a lot of iframes plus he does a lot of hits and his fist skill has a lot of lingering hits that keep just going and going and going and the beautiful thing about this skill right here right is obviously it's the iframe right but all these hits will constantly hit Ultron whenever he's in ultimate form, right? So you're just running around while Ultron's trying to attack you, and these hits will still do damage to him. Well, not damage, but they'll break down that purple meter and actually get him out of ultimate mode where you can actually start doing a lot of damage to him. And the thing about Ultron, and thing, I think the things that people need to look out for in the future is characters with long, long iframes. Because right before Ultron goes into his ultimate mode or he's in his ultimate mode, if you go into an iframe he just sits there and stands still he doesn't attack or do anything which i'll show you guys in a little bit and that is a key thing when it comes to facing that guy and actually wave and valkyr are actually amazing against this guy because wave also has lots of nice little iframes in her kit and actually her force skill actually has quite a bit of lingering damage on that damn thing right with the little whirlpools or swirls that are run around there, those things are really nice. But all these iframes that she has are very, very sweet, right? Including the awakened skill. That's a pretty damn long iframe, right? And her and Valkyrie is like, I mean, Valkyrie's awakened skill is has is such a long iframe that you can, I mean, seriously, you can take down, like you have to hit Ultron three different times when he's in ultimate form to break him out of the infinity mode and get him to where you can start doing damage to him where he's kneeling down. And this awakened skill, look, I mean, look at how long this thing is, right? He will just sit there and stand still and do nothing while you're doing that attack. And it's so long that you'll easily do two out of the three hits with it. It is godly. And so whenever you're facing Ultron, you know, it's always really important to do as many hits as possible to keep him from going in ultimate mode. That's why Quicksilver is actually really good for him, at least in that respect. But whenever he's in ultimate mode, having characters that have these nice long iframes and have all this lingering damage, like Quicksilver, like Wave, like Valkyrie. Valkyrie not so much with lingering damage, but the fact that her iframe is so long, her wig and skill, it actually makes him super awesome for Ultron. I'll show you guys the build really quick. I mean, he's just got 38,000 physical attack with Wave's leadership. Uh, his stats aren't maxed out. Ignore defense, only at 42%, right? But this is just a stage one, guys. I don't even use uh, Quicksilver, unfortunately. I don't play the character hardly at all because he just he underperforms compared to other characters, even other speed characters, which is unfortunate. He does have Mythic physical attack. Oh, I'm sorry. He has five-star physical attack gurus on him. And all of his skills are at six. He has a fully awakened power brain girl set. Of course, no obelisk. And his uniform is a normal. I never leveled up the uniform because I don't play the character. Ever since we got the uniform, I never did. And that was some that's another reason I wanted to do this video. Is just to kind of show him a little bit of love because I really love Quicksilver. You know, at one time this guy was god meta in this game. And a lot of people were hoping whenever he got this uh uniform that he was going to return to the meta, but he never quite made it. He never quite did, which actually kind of sucked. So I'll go ahead and pull up the run for you guys right now, and you can check this out, right? And watch how uh, awesome this is, man. This is so cool. What I want you to pay attention to in the very first part of the fight here is how well we keep the meter down, right? Ultron's meter is not rising at all because we're doing so many hits and by the way, you know rages are really good and against Ultron a rage on Quicksilver is actually the way to go 
in my humble opinion. Now, right there, I could have attacked because I do have Ignore Iframe on the fourth skill. But I wanted to go into my tier three, go into my fifth skill, get all that lingering damage. Something that is nice about this uniform is that you can cancel the tier three, which is nice. You just got to let it play a little bit, and then you can cancel it. And you'll get an insane amount of damage from that thing. Honestly, I know it's just stage one, but Ultron's very, very hard. And I was actually surprised by all the damage I'm doing. I mean, I realized I got 25% peers, blah, blah, blah. But really, having no Obelisk, no CTP of inside, I mean, we do have an OP team. He actually does really, really well, right? Now, here we have to run around. We don't want to attack. Otherwise, we'll probably get by a spear and could die, right? One thing about Quicksilver I wish is he had a little bit better heal and obviously a little bit more damage. Now, check this out, right? So, we hit our fourth skill, right? I should have hit my fifth skill is what I should have done because that would have had a lot of lingering damage and we could have took, hit Ultron a couple times right now, right? So, I hit my fifth skill there, but watch this. We hit Valkyrie's Awakened Skill. We had about two-thirds of the bar left. Now watch this. Boom. Takes us right into the next phase where we can beat up Ultron. That is sweet, my friends. That is godly awesome. Oh, my God. I love it so much. So cool. And that's why those iframes are so important, especially if they had a lot of lingering damage. Uh, we got a little bit of a freeze going on. Uh, I think my iPhone froze up a little bit whenever I was playing and whenever I was recording this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, lost, lost Valkyrie. That kind of sucks. But, oh well, oh well. Right? Ooh, close call with those tornadoes right there. Careful, careful. There I hit the fifth skill, right? We hit the fourth skill, and then there's that lingering damage. Does some hits, right? Switch our character. And then we hit the fifth skill, and watch this. We got all this lingering damage from the fifth skill, Right? And boom, hits him again. And if you got a rage on old, uh, Quicksilver, you can go right into your skills and start doing tons of damage. It's freaking sweet. And I mean, and this is the thing, you know, like when we get future characters, this is what we need to be looking out for, is characters that have these nice long iframes and characters that have a lot of lingering damage. Right? There's the fifth skill, right? We use our awaken skill. And boom right it speeds up the process so much you're actually able to plow through the world boss a lot faster and a lot easier whenever you can do this kind of stuff guys i mean it makes a big difference being able to take ultron out of his ultimate form faster right if you're able to hit him a whole bunch of times you got all that lingering damage all those lingering hits hitting him while you're running around he's not going to do as many attacks to you so it actually increases your survivability and the time that you actually clear him which is pretty sweet so it's definitely something that we should be looking out for in the future i mean iframes have always been super valuable because you don't usually take damage unless the opponent has ignore iframe right and but now the, all this lingering damage makes a big difference so like say you got a character like quicksilver where maybe you don't you don't even need to use your basic attack because you got a skill that does all those lingering hits man he can easily take down two two thirds of that bar with just his fifth skill and valkyrie can do the same thing right and really so can wave it's awesome man so it actually makes the fight a little bit more fun because you're not constantly running around trying to avoid ultron in his ultimate form with his infinity stones and doing all these different attacks to you it actually makes it a lot easier to take him down so let me know what y'all think about quicksilver getting it done with no obelisk and i do stream on twitch at 9 p.m gmd plus 7 time the link is in the description below and i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching Y'all take care and have a good one. See you, everybody.